family loses their home just eight hours after Christmas. But the grandson, who was home during this devastating fire tonight, says he is grateful. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeannie Blaylock. And I'm Heather Crawford. Now, in this video, you can see the flames shooting through the roof as firefighters race to put them out. It all happened at a home in the Normandy Estates area on Jacksonville's west side. And that's where we find On Your Side's Troy Kless. He's live with some details about this, Troy. Thank you, Jeannie. Jackie Din says that he woke up and heard his grandmother yelling and then soon after saw that the flames were coming through this home that you see behind me. Right now, the family is cleaning it up at the moment. The fire went through the attic and burned much of the house, but Din says that he and his family made it out safely. Jackie Din and his family making it out of their house unharmed after a fire destroyed their home on Emily's Walk Lane. I was just sleeping and it was like 8 o'clock in the morning and I heard my grandma yelling and I heard I heard some and I was like, I think I, it has to be a fire. Din says he walked out of his bedroom and saw flames inside the house. He ran to his neighbors to get help and call 911. They tried to spray it down before Jacksonville Fire and Rescue arrived. Firefighters tried to attack the fire, but it was already spread throughout the home. It turns out that the fire had been in the attic too long. We had a collapse of some of the trusses, and therefore uh, we had to pull our crews out and go to a defensive mode. While no one was hurt, Din says he and his family are devastated. Just, just want to pray to God and just let everybody know. For support, and just help us and support us. Din says that he's not sure how the fire started. A fire marshal was on scene earlier in the day to investigate, but the Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department says that while some items in the home are salvageable, there is still a significant loss to the structure as a whole. We're live on the west side tonight. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.